Today we are going to be doing a super quick and easy how-to campaign on how to overclock your CPU in under five minutes. And this is part of the IEM Sydney 2019 campaign by Intel. So today's video is sponsored by Intel. And if you guys make your own how-to videos, then you can enter for a chance to win one of two gaming PCs where the first PC for first place is worth 2,750 Aussie dollars. And then second place runner up will win a PC worth $2,100. So all you have to do to enter this competition is make a how-to video like I'm doing here today on your YouTube account with the hashtag game on Intel. Though with that aside, let's start overclocking this CPU super quick, super easy. So here I've got a 9900K and a Z390 motherboard, and I've got two programs installed. I'll put all the links for the competition and the programs I'm using in the description below. And we've got hardware info and also the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Now, if you're on another CPU, you can use IDA64, which is also a good program. But once they've installed, we can then go down here, restart our PC, and then upon restarting our PC, hit the delete or F2 keys on our keyboard and that will bring us into the BIOS. Now you can overclock with the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, but I still prefer personally to overclock in the BIOS. And for me, it's just straightforward and easy. But once we're in the BIOS here, this is the ASRock BIOS, which is the maker of the motherboard. I can then click F6 on my keyboard and that will take me to the advanced mode where from here on the tabs, I can hit the right arrow key, go to overclock tweaker, and then go into CPU configuration by hitting enter, and then CPU ratio, hit enter, and go all cores, and then type in 50, enter on our numpad, leave the CPU cache ratio alone, leave the CPU cache ratio alone, hit escape, go down to DRAM configuration, go down to load XMP profiles, click enter, click enter again on XMP profile two, hit escape, go down to voltage here, hit enter, go to voltage mode, hit enter again, hit enter on OC mode, then go down to CPU core cache voltage, hit enter, go to fix mode, hit enter again, then fix voltage, we can type in 1.37 volt. This is my CPU's voltage. I find that if you've got a better CPU than me, which you most likely will, then you'll be able to get five gigahertz with even less voltage, say 1.35 voltage. But for me, my CPU actually needs 1.37 voltage to remain 24 seven stable at five gigahertz. So you can copy these settings, then save changes and exit and hit enter, and then boot back into Windows, and then we can start stress testing. So now that we're on the desktop, we can then double click hardware info and since we're on a 64-bit Windows, we can open the 64-bit application, left-click run, and this will tell us all our temperatures, sensors, and everything we need to know about these overclocks. And then also we can go back to the desktop and open up our Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. And this has a built-in stress test, which for a 9900K is the best thing being its own Intel stress test utility. So we can then left click CPU stress test and click 10 minutes and then we can start testing and then come back and see if we've passed. Now we've passed the CPU stress test, we can then do the exact same thing for the memory, hit start testing, come back after 10 minutes And we've passed both those stress tests with flying colors, so our CPU is now ready to play games and do other things like edit videos. But if we do crash or we do fail those stress tests, then we may have to go back into the BIOS and either lower our CPU multiplier from 50 down to 49 or lower the voltage or raise the voltage if we want to try and get that CPU stable. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this quick how-to. If you have your own how-to videos, then make sure you upload them to YouTube and put that hashtag in for a chance to win a really good gaming PC. And the topics to uh, choose 
range from how to overclock a CPU like I did here today, or how to build a gaming rig, or how to PC game and stream, or how to build a custom PC mod. And lastly, the links will be in the description below. This campaign will run from today until the end of this month, May 31st. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.